thing looks awesome. What's up, dude? What's up? Oh, you got it. That's what I got. Oh, it's awesome, man. You ready to get going? Yes. All right, let's do it. I'm Mike. I'm Joe. And this is Cart Life TV. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're here in the driveway in July in South Florida and it is like the seventh layer of hell today. So hot. It is so hot. It is like over 100 degrees easily. Literally sweating through my shirt. I have the non-sweat shirt on. You got the dry fit shirt on. Yep. I should have wore that one. Um, but we're here today and we are uh, going to be working on the trailer cooler carrier um, that we got. It's the uh, Mad Jacks cooler and rod holder. Check this thing out. It is awesome. We got it plugged into our golf cart here. And I want to give a shout out to Sanchez from Superior Street Golf Carts, uh, Boca Raton, Delray Beach in Miami for hooking us up with this thing. He's our sponsor of the channel and we absolutely love it and it is going to come in real handy. Um, we also got our brand new Rescue Red Yeti cooler. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, our boy Chuck over at uh, West Marine in Delray Beach. He, uh, he went out of his way and actually wanted to drive all the way to Vero Beach because they did not have one in stock, but he hooked us up with this thing, and thank you, uh, thank you, Chuck. You're the man. I appreciate you. Um, so let's see what we got here going on today. All right, on the table, we got um, some of the things we're going to be working with today. We got our lighted whip antenna that came in. Now, that thing's pretty cool. I can't wait to see that thing working. We got our uh, taillights that we're going to be putting on the trailer. We got our license plate bracket. We got our... Um, our hitch uh, power and bracket that we uh, custom made and we got our brand new Rescue Red Yeti cooler that's going to be keeping our drinks cold for that hot, hot, long trip to Key West. Hopefully not as hot as today. Yeah, I don't think anything could be as hot <laughs> as today. Today is absolutely ridiculous. All right, so we got all the stuff we need to get started on this thing. We're going to start working on it right now. We're not going to teach you how to do stuff. We're just going to show you what we're doing. If you want to learn how to solder and you want to learn how to drill holes in metal, I think they should Google it or check another YouTube video. We want to keep moving along here, so uh, follow us. Let's go. See ya. Guys, we got our bracket mounted, and um, now it's time to mock up the tail lights, put the holes in for those. got the bracket all mounted on there. We mocked up the lights. Everything fits just like it should. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to install this. This is a mount for the lighted whip, which we're going to install on the back of this trailer here also. So let's get that mocked up now too and uh, make sure everything fits as it should. This thing's awesome. You never know what you're going to get sometimes when you... Uh, you buy things from uh, Amazon and eBay, but I'm actually pretty impressed with this. It, uh, it's pretty cool. Let's get a little close-up of that there. It's, uh, it's like an LED strip light that we use for all sorts of things around the house, um, for backlighting and accent lighting and stuff, and it's all wrapped up in this flexible, uh, flexible pole. Down here, it actually has a uh, mounting nut and a quick release, so it should be pretty easy to install. We're going to get this tightened onto the mount now and uh, put the put the whip on and see how it looks on the cart. That looks clean. There you go, it's good. Nice. Man, that's looking sweet. That bracket's tucked under there, you can barely see it. It's, uh, it's silver right now, we got it all pre-drilled. 
with the holes. It's mounted there. The uh, whip antenna is mounted, and I think we're uh, we're looking pretty good. What do you think, Joe? Yeah, for sure. All right, let's get that cooler out of here. And let's get the uh, license plate bracket mounted. See Joe, he's a pro. See what he did there? Measure twice, cut once. Recording? Yep. All right, we got our uh, we got our studs mounted here. This is what we're going to mount the license plate on. Looks like Joe did a good job. It lines up. So now we're going to crank down these, uh, they call them aviation nuts, nylon nuts, to lock these in place. We're going to build spacers for it, and we'll be able to mount the plate. All right, here's a look at our license plate bracket. We did run some quarter inch bolts through here with a nice finish washer. We had a finished look, made some custom aluminum spacers and uh, secured it with some nuts. We got some wing nuts here so we can easily uh, move the license plate from there to there, no problem. So that came out really, really good. Super happy with that also. All right guys, so come down here for a second. We got the bracket off right now and I uh, put it in the vise. We're gonna take the angle grinder and we're just going to kind of smooth the edges here. Then I'm gonna give this thing a shot of uh, bed liner paint. Tomorrow we'll mount it back up on the trailer and then we'll start to wire the lights up. What we're gonna use today to paint this bracket is a uh, truck bed coating. I've been using it for a lot of the parts on the golf cart. And so far so good, it's been, uh, it's been able to hold up really well with some abuse. And it's kind of got a nice textured finish too. Should blend in real nice with the uh, cooler carrier trailer that we're building. Give it a shot. What's great about painting here in Florida is the uh, summer sun actually bakes the paint really fast. This metal was hot to begin with. And I can actually see it drying right now, which is pretty cool. Um, the bed liner does take a little bit longer to dry than a normal uh, flat paint. So uh, after this coat dries, I'm gonna come back, give it another one, and then let it sit overnight. We'll install it and uh, get the lights on and wire this thing up. It's hot out here today, but we got this thing mounted back up. The paint came out great. You can see it matches the uh, cooler carrier perfectly here. You could barely tell that there's anything different with it actually. All pre-drilled, ready to mount and wire our lights up. So let's get to it. Okay. Yep. All right, come in here for a second. So this is where we're gonna get our power from. Um, we've already spliced in here for the license plate lights. So we know where we have uh, power on as well as ground. These other two lights are gonna be for the brake lights and the blinkers. So we're gonna splice off those and then we're gonna run one wire from the right blinker over here and then run that down to the harness. That's how we're gonna get our power for our uh, harness down below. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is hook up our trailer power um, to the golf cart. We're gonna splice that into the uh, wiring we have on the golf cart now. It's a seven prong uh, adapter we got at Home Depot and this is a bracket we custom made uh, by drilling out a uh, I guess like a lumber hanger that we found. We just needed a random piece of metal that worked. That thing seems to work perfect. Thing fits in there, looks great, right? It's like uh, custom. So we're gonna get that thing mounted now and uh, keep moving along. All right, these are, these are splice connectors here. These are super easy. They're wire taps, they call them. And they're called a bunch of different things. This actually snaps onto the wire and it makes it super easy uh, to, to splice power without having to cut and solder. So we're gonna just use these because they are gonna get tucked um, behind the tail light and uh, never be seen again once it's, uh, once it's clipped on. So just kind of start it, 
fold this thing over until it clips. And that's it. Then you can plug uh, then you can plug your your mail tap right there in there and run your wire. Then you got power. So uh, these are four of the uh, five wires that we're gonna have to run down. All right, we got all of our splices made for our trailer uh, trailer plug. Um, they're all made here. They run down to the trailer plug, and the last wire we have to run is right here. This is for our lighted whip. We're gonna run this up to the dashboard and uh, hook it up to this uh, handy dandy labeled whip light. All right, we got we got the uh, we got the golf cart all wired up for the trailer hitch. The uh, the plug is in place. We riveted it on. I know you guys are super impressed with that. This one's actually been pop riveted still. Um, that was fun. Next thing we have to do is wire the actual cooler carrier up. We got the license plate light, the brake lights, the tail lights, and the whip light all to wire up and run to a plug so we can plug that right into the uh, the adapter we just installed on the golf cart. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're getting really close to finishing this job. Check this out down here, Joe. We got the uh, we got the wire harness um, almost completely ran. Um, we're doing really good. Last thing we have to do on this project is um, hook up the wires in this pigtail here. So we can plug it into the golf cart when we're ready. Okay. All right, Joe, what do we got? It's all ready to go. Wired up. All the wires are neatly. There's the pigtail done. right there. Um, I guess the last thing to do is, what do you think, test it? Test it. All right, do the honors, my friend. Nope. It's still heavy duty. Just... Oh, what about the whip? Come on, Joe. <laughs> the whip. Top, top. The whip is cool. It just connects like that. Easy, quick release. All right, let's see the whip first. There it is, dude. Wow, I love it. Look at that. That is awesome. All right, let's see the, uh, what, turn signals? We got turn signals? Oh, man. Passenger? Yes. Oh, awesome. They sure do. And we're going to assume the brakes work, even though we're not rolling. But um, yeah, I think we did great. Awesome. Looks good. Nice. Project complete. All right, guys, thanks for joining us today for the third episode of Cart Life TV. If you liked what you saw today, please subscribe, hit the like button. If you have a comment, a question, it's something we could have done better. We love the feedback. Please let us know what we're doing wrong. Uh, we we want to hear about it. Joe, what are you doing back there? Ripping the fabric off. 
colors. He likes he the pretty. He likes the pretty colors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah.